Okay, in this video we will start with the first example of the section 2.1. So it says find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function at the given point. And so they want us to find the slope. Now we know that the slope is given by this limit. So we've got to calculate this limit. Now because our function is x squared plus x, that will help us to figure out what to put in our numerator. So then if I'm plugging this in for x here and here, I will get c plus delta x squared plus c plus delta x. Excuse me minus, so that's all for this function here. Minus, now I'm going to plug in c into x there and there. So I get c squared plus c. Now I'm doing this generally, however, they did give me the c value I need to be using. It is negative one. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in now. So that means this would be negative one plus delta x squared plus negative one plus delta x minus, and I'm gonna use a parentheses here, negative one squared plus negative one instead of a big bracket. And since these terms are both in the front, I don't need to necessarily put a bracket around them. And then I still have my delta x. So we need to simplify this. Um, a lot. So if I square this, I'm going to get negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1, and then negative 1 times delta x, double that. So negative delta x doubled would be negative 2 delta x. And then delta x squared is going to be delta x squared. Here I'm going to distribute the positive sign. So a positive and a negative is negative, a positive and a positive is positive. Here let me figure out what's in the parentheses first before I bring in that negative. So I'm going to get a positive 1 for negative 1 times itself. Negative and positive makes a negative 1. So then I have delta x here. Well inside this parentheses we actually have 0. So I'm actually not subtracting anything. Also this 1 and this negative 1 will cancel and these two terms can be combined. So let's see what we've got here now. We've got negative 2 delta x is plus 1 delta x will give me negative 1 delta x or just negative delta x. Now in order for me to take this limit, I do have to reduce the fraction by delta x since your denominator can't go to zero. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take what's in the numerator and factor out a delta x. So that delta x times a negative one will give me negative delta x and delta x times another delta x will give me delta x squared. So I'm just factoring out a delta x. Then the delta x in the numerator will reduce with the delta x in the denominator, leaving me with this expression. And now that I don't have the delta x in the denominator, I don't have to worry about this limit going to um, a number that's undefined. So now I can just do direct substitution. If I direct substitute del 0 for delta x, I get this expression, which now makes um, the expression just a negative one. So the slope of the tangent line for this function at this point is negative one. Now that's all it asked me to do. It did not ask me to find the, the tangent line. All it wanted me to find was the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so we are done with this particular problem.